Hello everyone, welcome back to Home and Creativity with Monique. As you know, Thanksgiving is tomorrow and I'm just sharing with you guys um, my dessert option for my Thanksgiving meal. So I will be making a sweet potato pie and a pecan pie. I am peeling um, four medium sized sweet baked potatoes um, that I baked in the oven right on the um, rack. And this is the size of how they look. And I baked these at 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. And as you can see here, I am just peeling those peels off. Um, it just easily peels off. In my opinion, um, roasted or baked potatoes, um, well, sweet potatoes for a cake or a pie is much better. I think that the flavors are much better when they are roasted. So I put this in my um, stand mixer and I'm, I just want to beat these until it becomes smooth and also to remove any strength. So I'm just showing you guys here um, all the ingredients for the sweet potato pound cake. So I'm showing you my butt pan that I will be using, my sweet potato that I've prepared, four large eggs at room temperature. And these are all the ingredients that is mixed in this bowl. The cake flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And in here I have brown sugar and regular sugar. And I have a 1 8 ounce block of cream cheese and 1 stick of unsalted butter at room temperature. And you will need vanilla extract. First, we're going to start off with the butter and cream cheese. I'm going to cream both of those together until both of those are combined. And then we're going to add in both sugars, both um, brown sugar and regular sugar. And we're going to mix that some more. And I'm mixing this like on a medium high speed. Okay, so once all the butters and the sugars are combined, then I'm going to add in one egg at a time. And that's my daughter helping me, by the way. Okay, so we're going to just add those eggs in one at a time and let all of that blend in together. Okay, so now I'm going to just try to keep the size of my bowl scraped down as much as I can so all the ingredients can be well incorporated together. I wish KitchenAid made um, like an inside scraper or something while it's mixing. Okay, so now that one tablespoon of vanilla and the two cups of mashed sweet potato puree. Um, into the batter and you're going to uh, let this uh, mix very well and also I forgot to mention that um, for this cake recipe you will need about um, two tablespoons of either buttermilk or whole milk so once you put in half of the dry ingredients into the batter then you will put in two tablespoons of milk or buttermilk. Um, add in the remaining amount of the flour mixture. And as you can see here, I am making quite a bit of a mess. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let this um, blend all together and um, if you have a stand mixer, um, 
you may have to stop it a couple of times to scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure all those ingredients are being incorporated and um, you don't need a stand mixer to make a cake um, you can also use a bowl and a hand mixer as well all right so my mixture is done my cake batter is done and I'm going to place this in my greased and lightly flour bun cake pan So this is a recipe for um, making the icing for the sweet potato cake. So you will need two cups of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, four tablespoons of milk, and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. A half a teaspoon of butter extract. And one fourth teaspoon of almond extract. One fourth teaspoon of allspice. And you're going to give all of this a mix until well combined. Okay, so I am making uh, a couple of pecan pies and um, this is a recipe that I've always followed on the back of the Cairo syrup, corn syrup bottle. Yes, so um, I didn't um, just particularly look for a pecan pie recipe. Um, just looking at um, you know different recipes for a pecan pie it all has the same base ingredients despite of whomever makes it they may have a variation or difference in the amount of ingredients that they put in their pecan pie but it's technically all the same so this recipe is off of the back of a kale syrup corn syrup bottle and um, very easy um, not a lot of ingredients you just need those ingredients and uh, a 9 inch deep dish um, pie crust now about the pie crust I like to use regular pie crust because um, this recipe is to be poured into a 9 inch deep dish but what I like to do is take two regular nine inch pie crust and I take my one cup measurement and I pour in two cups of the mixture into both of my regular nine inch pie crust and that way I can get two pies out of this um, one um, mixture here instead of getting one deep dish um, pecan pie and also I'm not a big fan of um, deep dish pies because I don't like very thick filling I like for uh, my fillings to be kind of thin but um, to each his own you know you can you know do your pies and cakes however you choose to but this is how I do mine and I added a few more chopped um, pecans to it because I do like a lot of pecans in my um, pie but like I said this is how I do mine and I also add in cornstarch as well so 
I will bake these at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. All right, so my cake is done and I've had it out cooling off for about an hour. This is how it looks. So I'm going to flip it over on my um, cake saver base and I'm going to take that icing and I'm going to drizzle it all over the cake. Now, mind you, I am not a cake decorator. Um, so it might look like a hot mess, but um, if it's good, that's all that matters. I know presentation is also key, but I do try my best to make it presentable. See, I should have left it that way, but no, I decided to try to ice the whole cake all around. <laughs> now, if I wanted it iced all around, maybe I should have made a second batch of icing so that it can look a little bit thicker. So, once I made my attempt to ice the cake, <laughs> Then I put on some toasted pecans. Uh, I toasted these pecans in the oven at 350 for about five minutes. And this is totally optional, but I wanted a little bit of crunch to my cake. But that's how it looks. All right, so I'm going to cut a piece for you guys so that you can see um, the inside, the texture of the cake. Um, this recipe came out um, very well the cake is very moist and it's soft and and it was sweet and it was very good so um i enjoyed this cake recipe so even though there's a slice missing out of the cake i will still serve it for thanksgiving and that's my pecan pies that i'm showing you guys um so um, all of my desserts are finished and that's that all right guys so this is the end of my vlog of my thanksgiving desserts thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching me make these make the cake and the pies stay tuned for part two for my um thanksgiving um dinner um items as well Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day and a happy Thanksgiving as well. All right. God bless.